Good morning. Um, I just thought I'd come on. Me and Harry. Harry's down here. He's in a sleeper. He's going to get changed. Well, it's a bit too nice just to be used as a sleeper, don't you think? And it's yellow. And it's got New York taxis on. <laughs> and it's got a little dummy that matches. It's blue. And I'm not sure what dummy it is, actually. Can I take your dummy? Can, can I take it? Can I take it? No, he won't let me take his dummy. <laughs> What do you want? I'm trying to get this. He's got this noisy thing strapped around him. This is what he had, this mirror. Yeah, it's a big sunshine mirror for my sunshine boys. Is that what you've been playing with? Yeah, you're looking in the mirror, are you? You're looking at yourself. And um, anyway, I thought I'd come on to just show you what I got when I went to the Royal Mint Experience. If you haven't seen that video, it is worth checking it out. I know it's not Reborn related, but... Um, it was a really good day. It was really good seeing how coins are made. I did get to strike my own coin, actually. Um, so, yeah, it was it was really, really interesting. We walked around the factory, part of the factory, obviously. Um, I'm just looking for my coin I struck. <laughs> Sorry, get more of my face than you probably wanted. Um, so, yeah, we walked around part of the factory so we could see the process of them, um, where they melt all of the um, metals down and then you know showed us how they like they melt them down and then they they stretch them all out as they're drying and in in, into great long rows and rows and rows of metal and wow it was just really really good fun um, and you can strike a coin while you're there and the coin of that had just changed over was um, a 50 pence of Sir Isaac Newton So I struck this coin at the Royal Mint Experience. And striking means that you, they get the plain 50p, they get the plain 50p, and they put it through two dies. So there's one on the bottom and one on the top, and they go. <laughs> so these got struck three times, which means they're much higher quality, which you can't really tell on the screen. But you can see how the queen stands out really, really well. because it was struck three times and um, coins that go in general circulation are just struck once and then they're gone and then they're gone and they're struck at such a rate of speed it's pretty amazing I'm enjoying that and um and things like medals and all that they're struck like a lot more times and to make them so pristine so yeah so i struck this one while i was there and it's a 50p that celebrates the work of the scientific genius Sir Isaac Newton. Um, and it says, by striking this coin, you followed in the footsteps of the most famous master of the mint who helped make our coinage the envy of the world. So throughout um, the year, they swap over, they change, and they do different coins. And the and the one that's just finished was the um, our new pound coin that we're getting um, in the UK. Actually, it came a, it came into force on Monday. So if you've got any old pound coins, anybody who lives in the UK, in your money boxes, behind the sofa, anywhere like that, get them out and get them to the bank. So um, I did that and, yeah, I struck the coin. So they got a Sir Isaac Newton one. And they're also bringing out the next one is Jane Austen. So that'd be another good one to get. Um, I wish I'd gone last year when they did a Beatrix Park. Can you imagine that? <laughs> anyway, so... Then we walked around, so we came out of there and then we walked around like the visitor centre and uh, and that's where I took all the photos for the slideshow. I did take one video of the lady talking and explaining about it and because I find it really, I just love history and social history and we all use money. I just found it really, really interesting. Um, so I was going to show you what my husband bought me in the shop. So we went into the shop afterwards and... I got this in the shop. The Further Tale of Peter Rabbit by Emma Thompson. So that's going to be interesting to um, to read to the babies. Maybe we'll do a, an evening reading of that. Yeah. Maybe we'll do an evening reading of that. You can read. 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 
Julia Rabbit badge. And this Miss Tiggy Winkle is my most favourite Beatrice Potter character. So I've got those two badges. And my husband. He's so sweet. Last year I collected last year's coins, um, but only the ones that were in circulation. But but um, you have a, you had a folder like this, and you collected them, and it's called the Great Coin Hunt. Um, lots of people collect coins. I've never collected them before, but I wanted to do it because it was Beechwood Potter. This is the 2017 collector edition, and I would love to get the coloured ones, but they're like sixty pounds each, and I was just like. My husband's like, no way, what to say the cover? No way. So what he did buy me, he bought me the whole set of the new editions. So I got the tale of Benjamin Bunny, Peter and the new Peter Rabbit, the new Jeremy Fisher, and Tom Kitten. So these, these were a different set from last year, last year's set. Um, so then you take them out and you pop them in your little doofers, which I may or may not do. I might just leave them in a little box like this. <laughs> so these were £10 each. My husband was like, £10 for a 50 bay. But do you know, only, I've not had, in our change, we've not had one 50p with a Beatrix Potter symbol on it, except for last week, my husband got the Peter Rabbit from last year's like um, rollout edition. So I actually finished that album last week and I was like, I really want to get them all now. And he's like, you always want to get stuff. And I'm like, I know, but it's Peter, Peter Rabbit. And uh, so he got me all of those. And this, I think the the album here is five pounds. Um, so this was five pounds. These were ten pounds each. So I let him pay. The badges were one pound fifty each, and this book was six ninety nine. But isn't that cool? The further tale of Peter Rabbit, and it's illustrated by Eleanor Taylor. I must say that, but I do want to read that. So we'll be reading that to you one day. And. Um, I used to, and I forgot, until we've been, because we've got painters here, we've been sorting out, the spare room is all, is all empty now, ready for having a false wall and stuff put up. My bathroom upstairs is just completely chock-a-block with uh, stuff from that spare bedroom. Um, good job we've got a walk-in shower downstairs. And um, I have stuff everywhere, because we also have an our bedroom repainted, we're having all the hallway repainted, we're having our dining room repainted. So um, it's all a bit up in the air and a bit of a mess. But as I was going through it, I found loads of my, like, um, oh, God, what do you call them? Albums where you, like, collect stuff in that you do. Oh, what do they call them? Because I think in America and Canada, and that you kind of, like, have a page and you put all bits on that one page. Well, the way I used to do mine is scrapbooking. Yeah, scrapbooking. But I did it my way, so I would like get my I get photos and I put photos in and write all over it and put loads of stickers all over it. Not those, not those in those particular photo album, um, those album like things. I didn't do it that way. Um, maybe I'll show you one day. Um, and then I went through um, another stage of getting postcards wherever I went and writing on the postcard and putting them in photograph albums. Um, and I sort of like lost doing that over the last like, oh gosh, maybe four years. And so I thought, you know, my goal for next year is every time I go somewhere is to get a postcard and write on it and put them in these photo albums because it's so cool to look back and see. I mean, I do take loads of photos and I always take videos and I put them on my computer and they're there to look through. But I love just looking through at the written word. It's just something about that and... It really conveys how you feel at the time and and the stickers and that that you put on are like the exciting bits and you can see how it was. I did I did one of when me and Russ got married and that. Gosh, that was like eight years ago. So um, so I picked this one up anyway. That's how I was getting to. I picked that one up from uh, the Royal Mint. So I should be writing on the back of that. So those are my plans. So that was my little haul. That was my 
gabble, gabbling on there. This is my little Harry who I'm now going to change. So it's lovely been talking with you. Speak to you soon. Bye. Oh, look out for a box packing. Sophia Rose is going home. That'll be up next. Bye.